Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I had an update yesterday, uh, which introduced some fun new bugs. So I've, I'm testing frame rates, and I, I loaded into the, the easiest plane to fly here at the uh, the airport that we were last at. And I noticed the wind is just unbelievable today. So uh, I want to show you guys what's going on here. Wind 255 at 19. So, this plane can take off in a pretty short distance and at a pretty low speed. So, if you look at there, I stop there. We're going to take off on this runway, not this one. But, Uh, if you look, uh, let's see, where's the, there's the windsock. Let's drone over there. Dude. Alright, so, the windsock will tell us better, ooh. Sorry. The windsock will tell us better what the wind is actually doing in the sim versus what the, uh, AWOS says. So, let's just go ahead and turn that off. Oh, right, I'm not in the plane. Okay, so the wind's coming, like, straight down this dirt runway off to the right, which is the one we're lined up for. Perfect. Back to the plane. And it's coming at us pretty hard. So, we're going to announce the takeoff. Uh, we're going to just remain in the pattern for... Kilo Foxtrot Bravo Romeo Traffic Savage November. Charlie 22 Foxtrot Bravo taking off runway 22 left touch and go. So you can actually see this better from the outside view, so we're going to stay in the outside view. Uh, and uh, so this is the sa the Savage Cub, which is one of the bush planes. So if you look over here at our airspeed indicator, uh, we're already showing a little bit of airspeed because we're facing into the wind, but 40 knots, we are airborne. The wind is coming at us at 19. <laughs> if you notice, our the white line here is lower than 19, so... We might be able to just take off if we just rev up the engine without having to hardly go anywhere. So let's just go full throttle here and see if the tail lifts up. Yep. All right, so the tail's off the ground. All right, so not quite enough to get us off the ground here. Let's get uh, pointed a little better down the runway if we can. Whoa! <laughs> Gently to the left. Alright, let's just release the brakes and see what happens. Oh, we're already airborne. We didn't even leave the pavement. <laughs> Did not even leave the pavement and we're off the ground already. Bring in one notch of flaps. And we're above 40, so bring in the second notch, and we're good to go. And just trim us a bit. <laughs> oh, that was great. I kind of love it. Kind of love it. Ah, uh, this plane's a lot of fun to fly in situations like this. So yeah, Wyoming gets extremely windy. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if, uh, if right or left traffic would be the smart one to do here. I think since it's... A run. I think if we do right traffic, we don't cross any of the other runways, which I think would be the smart thing to do. But I have all the traffic, all the other aircraft turned off, so there's no one else flying. Because uh, I, I had some uh, significant frame rate issues introduced <laughs> introduced by this update. Um, uh, so I was only getting like 10 frames per second uh, with the same settings that we flew in here on <laughs> uh, the other day. Uh, so I know my performance in that video. Uh, deteriorated quickly over time, but then loading up after the update, it was so much worse. So uh, I attempted just turning the graphics down. That didn't seem to solve the problem, so I turned the graphics back to where they were and removed all the traffic, and boom, we're back up at 30 frames per second. So something that update did introduced some bugs with uh, involving other aircraft, or some performance hits involving other aircraft. Presumably, it's whatever they did to fix the ghost co-pilot bug. <laughs> I'm guessing the uh, the ghost co-pilot bug was caused by uh, 
taking some shortcuts with how they uh, loaded in other aircraft. So they had to get rid of those shortcuts, and now loading in other aircraft is a little harder on the system, I think. So we'll I'll I'll gradually rebuild uh, build up some more traffic because I do I do like flying with other aircraft uh, in the sky. I think that's cool, uh, and other aircraft on the ground. Uh, so we'll probably do that. I think I'm going to leave the people turned off because I kind of like not having people walking around the airport. I don't particularly like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and we don't typically go to the big international airport, so I don't need the, uh, ground vehicle traffic on at all. All right, let's drop the flaps, and that was probably a little too soon to drop the flaps, honestly. Our speed is still pretty high. So if you're wondering why the numbers are so much higher on the dashboard in here than in the external view, it's because the, uh, dashboard in the plane is in kilometers per hour. Landing lights on. I just realized I didn't have those on at all. Whereas the uh, dashboard in the external view is in knots. Alright, so we're coming down way too fast. Let's pitch for speed and throttle for altitude. See how short of a landing we can make. Wonder if we can land on the uh, same amount of tarmac that we took to take off. Not at this speed, that's for sure. Let's throttle back and bank a bit. Flaps. So we're basically aiming to touch down like right on the piano keys towards that dirt runway. Coming in about 80 knots. And we want to touch down with all three wheels at the same time. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> ah. ah, this plane's fun. This plane's fun. <laughs> so what we did there is I just did a ridiculous flare and since we still had tons of lift from the wind blowing straight at us, it just kind of gently set us onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a really dangerous landing. We could have just like fallen out of the sky there a lot harder than we did. But it was just like a little graceful set down on the ground. <laughs> I love this plane. So much fun. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video once I get the uh, traffic settings sorted out and we uh, go on our proper sightseeing tour of this area. Because it's what I like to do. I like to fly to a new, to, I like to fly the big fancy plane that's good for IFR the Beach Baron to a new place, and I like to take one of the little planes and just go check out the scenery. It's what I do. <laughs> so now we need to take one of these little planes and go check out the scenery, ideally without getting uh, blown out of the sky by this wind. <laughs> but since we are taking off and landing at this airport and we do have that dirt runway we can use, uh, even with most of the other small planes, I think we should be able to, to get the tour working once I've got the graphics sorted out. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Elio Dare. <laughs> you can find me on the internet at Elio Dare on Xbox Live, Steam, Nintendo Switch, and of course Twitter. Uh, come say hello on any of those or just leave comments below the video because uh, I, I do read them all because I'm still a tiny, tiny YouTube channel. So it's in my best interest to read all the comments, even the ones that get deleted. So, you know, it'd be nice. <laughs> All of them go before my eyeballs. There's no auto mods here. I mean, there are auto mods, but I still have to see the stuff that you guys post, even if it gets flagged. So, you know, hilariously, the auto mods never flag actual spam, but they do flag a lot of rude stuff. So, <laughs> ah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. And stop.
Perfect. Bye!